What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about both Superman and Lois and Supergirl. And the news, depending on what your perspective is, could be anything from fantastic to this is not great, this is not good. It really just depends on where you fall on the spectrum. <laughs> so there you go. So this just came out a couple hours ago, and I'm just now reading the story and I'm taking all this in as a reaction. I haven't done much research outside of this article from Deadline. But the fact that it is from Deadline tells me that it's legit. This is real stuff. And therefore, um, you know, you can take it and go and go to the bank with it, basically. So we're going to read through this article. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this and a little bit of perspective on my opinions on, on what's happening here. So the headline does give us basically the gist of this. So Superman and Lois is going to temporarily move off the CW. It's going to get replaced with Supergirl. And this is going to be due to a previous outbreak that they had on set or a positive case that they had on set. And so that's why they're doing this change. I honestly had no idea that Supergirl was far enough along for them to be able to do something like this. I knew that they were... In, in production, but I didn't know that they had enough done that they could actually run this long. Because if you look at the math here, for me, there's got to be quite a bit of episodes of Supergirl done in order for them to accomplish this. And I don't know how Superman and Lois got so far behind. I mean, yes, they had a positive case, but it's a little bit weird because they started filming well before Supergirl did. So... Let's read through the article here and get the gist of what's happening. So the CW Superman and Lois is coming off the CW schedule temporarily after being impacted by, you know what? The show will take a break after its fifth episode and return for new episodes to finish up the season on May 18th. So that would mean looking at the calendar, doing a little quick math here, that the fifth episode would be on March 23rd. Let me double check that. Yes, so March 23rd is a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, so March 23rd. And then it'll be gone for roughly seven weeks until it comes back. I could be wrong. I could be off a little bit there, but I believe it's seven weeks to come back on May 18th. So there we go. And it goes here. Meanwhile, Supergirl will premiere its sixth and final season on Tuesday, March 30th in that same time slot. So that means Supergirl will be getting roughly seven episodes, which is kind of the first, it's almost the first half of the season. That's quite a bit of episodes of Supergirl before it has to go on break again. And uh, this is weird. This is going to be really weird because it's like, we're going to do Superman and Lois, then we're going to break away. We're going to do Supergirl, then we're going to break back to Superman and Lois. And then we're going to break, bring back Supergirl. It's this game of like switcheroo hopscotch that I'm just confused. I mean, here's the thing. They're in a tough spot here. If the show's not going to meet production guidelines for it to put out its episodes on time, they want to make sure they keep something in that time slot that they can bolster up with the Flash. They want to bundle up that Tuesday night because that's it would work best for them, honestly. So they want to throw Supergirl in there and... You know, I guess they feel like this is a, a great replacement for Superman and Lois because they're thinking that the demo for that should be very similar. So I guess that's what their reasoning for doing this is. Also, it's probably the only other Arrowverse show that has enough episodes to do this right now. And it's its final season. So I don't know if we're going to get like a full-fledged trailer or anything before this happens. If it does, we would have to see a trailer for Supergirl within the next like week and a half. We, you know, I, I don't know. We, we might get it. They could probably throw something together quickly, but here's the thing. They're not promoting black lightning in its final season. So are we not going to get any promotion for Supergirl in its final season? It'd be very weird if we got Supergirl promotion, but we're not getting any black lightning pro promotion. That's just, that would be a little strange. Um, so anyway, that means we'll get seven episodes of Supergirl before it goes on break. And then it says here, we'll, we'll go on, it goes, uh, Superman and Lois, which films in British Columbia and Canada, had been previously impacted by a positive test and shut down production temporarily. As a result of the schedule change, the CW will now air People Presents Harry and Meghan's American Dream on Thursday, March 25th at 8 p.m. Why would, why would a Thursday time slot be impacted by what's going on with the Tuesday night show? 
a little bit confused about that. I, I don't understand totally why that would. I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments if you guys know anything about this People Presents. I don't even know what this is. I'm guessing it's a docuseries, but I don't understand why it would be impacted um, by a Tuesday night change. A little bit confused. Okay, anyway. It says here, when Superman and Lois returns in May on the 18th, uh, Supergirl, starring Melissa Benoist, will complete its final season later in the summer. So the the final season of Supergirl is still kind of up in the air. We don't know when it's going to be released. I'm assuming that because of the delay of Superman and Lois and the way that's going to push back stuff by roughly seven weeks now in that time slot, that it may push Supergirl back into the like late summer, early fall. It's possible. So that's kind of the takeaway from this. And I don't truly know like how the production got so slowed down by this. Cause I remember seeing the news about it, but I don't remember it being something major that like seemed like it was going to be a big deal. Maybe I missed something important. Maybe it was a lot bigger than they let on to be. I, I'm not totally sure, but anyway, so this is my question to you guys. Now that we know this and we see what's happening here, are you worried a bit about the momentum of Superman and Lois? Because right now the show is tracking very well all over the place on social media, news outlets, trending. It's doing extremely well. Do you think a break after the fifth episode will ruin what's been a good run for them in terms of attention and appreciation and praise? Do you think this is going to affect the production quality of the back half of the season? I would say based on them taking a break, probably not. But anything is possible, as you can see. If you're a fan of Supergirl, are you excited that we're going to get roughly seven episodes of Supergirl earlier than expected? But then we're going to take a break for months before Supergirl comes back. Which reminds me a lot of what happened a couple of seasons ago when Supergirl went on a really long break before it came back. And it did kind of take the wind out of the sails for the show. So this concerns me a little bit, not so much for Supergirl because Supergirl's in their final season. So I don't really care too much. It does concern me for Superman and Lois because this show right now is brand new and it's doing really well. And I'm hoping that they can get the production back on track and come back as strong as ever after their fifth episode. So we'll have to wait and see. So you guys let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on this change with Supergirl replacing Superman and Lois on Tuesdays for roughly seven weeks. I really want to know what you guys think about that. Look, that's it. I didn't expect to do this video, but I wanted to jump on and cover it as quickly as possible. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, check the end of this video for links to all of my reviews for all the other Arrowverse shows. I do them every single week. Go ahead and check those out. Make sure you uh, hit the notification bell, turn on notifications for all my videos. And uh, that's pretty much it. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.